Hi, I'm Carla Wooderak and welcome to Behavior Communicates. Joint attention is one of those things that students on the autism spectrum struggle with. It's one of those important indicators that doctors and school psychs look for in a child when they're looking at a, a possible eligibility or a diagnosis for ASD. The challenge is not seeing that it exists in a child. The challenge comes when the parents and educational staff want to teach it. Today, I have a strategy that can help you teach not only joint attention, but direct students to focus on something specific even if they do not have autism. You'll need a light of some kind, and I got this blue light, but you could experiment and see if a simple white light or some other color would work best for your child or student as well. Let me give you a couple of examples of where and how you could use this. The first example is something I saw staff do at an early childhood program. They were using the core vocabulary board to help students to respond during a circle time activity. When it was a student's turn, the SLP would shine the light on the word and then they would expect the child to say that. For example, they would shine their light on I want that and then the child was expected to say the word as they looked at it, joint attention. Imagine using this same strategy with an activity where you say, look at the truck and you shine the light on the truck and you can say, good looking at the, at the truck. Or if you shine the light on an option in a book saying, look at the frog, nice job looking at the frog. Or how about a math problem? You can shine the light on seven plus three equals 10. Or how about that student that messes up the minus sign and the plus sign? You can shine the light on what you want them to remember or to focus on. What about reading or learning new vocabulary? The boy was excited. Could be something you could focus on that vocabulary word. What about using the light to have students focus on where to put finished work or where students should look for body language or facial expressions? I suggested this strategy this week with one of my life skills teachers who was having trouble with a student with Down syndrome who actually would not look at her new vocabulary words in her reading program. Think about those students who could learn to use the light themselves when doing some of these activities. The possibilities are endless. The more we can get children to look at the things that we're trying to teach, whether it's to teach joint attention or just to focus their attention, the better chance we're going to have with teaching our students what they need to learn. Thank you so much for joining me here at Behavior Communicates. Just remember, the more we know about how to help the child or the student we love, the better quality of life they will have. If you like this video and you want to be in the know, sign up for Behavior Communicates. You'll automatically get my weekly video and blog plus other resources that I only share with my subscribers. Please like this video, leave a comment below, and share it with all of your parents, your teachers, your friends, and your coworkers on Facebook, Twitter, and all your other social media. You take care, and I'll see you next time.